Hey there everyone, thank you for tuning in. So as you guys know, there was a Mother's Day party at Bath & Body Works, so I had to go try it out. I'm not gonna um, beat around the bush, I'm gonna be honest, I was actually really disappointed. My store, well first for pretty much a whole week, I've been bombarded with emails about come to the Mother's Day party, get your free tote, get your free tote purchase, and it had like a full size um, Malibu heat. Well, my store didn't have that at all. They didn't have the totes. Um, I wasn't told that until the end when I was already purchasing. After I spent an hour in the store looking around, I was like, okay, well, I feel like an idiot that I wasted an hour of my lunch time doing this and then not buying anything. So I ended up purchasing the stuff anyways, but I was really disappointed. They had this like spin the wheel, but everything was just buy one, get one free, and I have a bajillion of those coupons. So I know, maybe, Maybe I'm being too, I expect too much, but you know, you tell someone to stop what they're doing, come check you guys out from one to five when you're doing the party, and you don't have the stuff that you are telling everyone about it, it's a little disappointing. But let's just get into the video. This is a whole, I'm happy with the stuff I bought, because obviously I love Bath & Body Works. If I didn't, I wouldn't be going there anymore. Um, I did exchange two candles. I exchanged the lemon, what's it called, it's lemon, lem, lemon mint leaf, it just had a really bad smell, um, the scent bro was like so weak, I did a candle review on it, still posted it if you guys want to go see it, but I switched that one for a pineapple punch, which looks just like that. And it's really pretty yellow that and let me go ahead and let you guys know what it's described as it smells really good it smells like candy it says a classic tropical blend of juicy pineapple sweet cherries and mango sorbet with a splash of coconut milk i definitely smell the coconut milk i smell the mango sorbet and the pineapples um you know what there is a hint of cherry so they're pretty dead on with their description. I can smell everything. I don't know if this is a good candle or a dud. I haven't gotten a chance to burn it. This is the first one I bought. And then my Market Peach, which I love, was giving me a hard time. The flames were like this tiny. There was no scent throw. So I took that one back and I got another Market Peach to see if I have better luck with this one. And let's see, you guys see my review. I did a review on this. Um, for the sake of the video, I'll let you guys know what it says. It's um, fresh picked peaches by the bushel with a touch of red raspberry and citrus layered with notes of rich vanilla. Definitely vanilla, um, very citrusy and peachy, like super peachy. This is a really great candle if you can get yours to burn well. So I got that. And then I had some coupons, of course. I'll tell you what I got. I had a coupon that you buy one full size signature item and you get a fine mist spray. So I bought another Sensual Amber because I use this like crazy and mine is like halfway down here already. I've used it up. So I bought this and I got this for free. I got Pink Chiffon because it's my other absolute favorite um, fragrance that they have. And these are normally $14 and I got this for free. Then for my next purchase, I had a coupon that spent $10, get another um, full size item up to $12. So this is what I did with this one. I bought three of the travel sizes because it doesn't have to be one item. It could be up to $10. So I got Bali Mango, which my store had like pretty much no full size of these anymore because they said they're, they're out of them. So I got that. And then I got the Wild Citrus Sunflower. I got the Wild Apple Daffodil. I don't like the other one, the berry one. I don't like it at all. And then I also had a coupon that gave me a free um, sample size item. Any one as long as it was part of the signature collection. I got Rio Rum Berry and this smells really, really good. And I did all this in one transaction. I got the three travel size and 
With the three, the three travel size, I got the big one full size item for free and I did to carry it away. <coughs> this was free and then this was free, all on the same transaction. So pretty much so far, I paid for this and I paid for these, which are three for 10 and I've gotten a lot of stuff. Then I wanted to buy some of the minis. I don't have a coupon for those. I just bought them because I've never tried the mini candles. So I wanted to give them a try. They said they burn up to 10 hours. You guys that are like candle fanatics, let me know if that's true. But here it is. I got Wild Strawberry. And the description is Red Ripe Berry, still warm from the strawberry patch. Blend perfectly with wild honeysuckle and orange flower. This smells really, really good. I got Paradise Daiquiri. Sorry, I just don't have much time left. Um, this one is a raspberry twist on a classic pina colada made with dark rum, sweet orange, topped with coconut cream and warm vanilla. Really good too. The next one I got is Seaside Escape. And this is Go Seaside with a tropical island blend of luscious guava and passion fruit. Infused with juicy watermelon and rich tonka beans. Two more. I've got Passion Flower. And this one says is a lush island passion fruit. I love passion fruit. Watery pear and fresh picked kibasa melon combined perfectly with creamy coconut. So good. The last one, actually, no, I got another one. I got Mango Beach Wood. And this is. An exotic sweet island blend of juicy mango and pineapple combined with cedar wood and creamy tonka beans from the tropics. So then I got my favorite scent so far, which is coconut leaves. <laughs> it is burning right now inside this cute little um, holder. And I have a review on coconut leaves if you guys want to check it out. But that's it. I added everything. I probably got around um, $80 worth of stuff, not counting the candles because those were just even exchange. $80 worth of stuff and I paid, I think it was $39, $39 so. And I only had to do two separate transactions. One transaction for these two and then on the other transaction, I was able to do everything because the travel size wasn't um with a purchase so i could combine it with another coupon so that's cool for you guys to know but that's it i'm happy with everything i bought just disappointed with the party it wasn't i don't think i'll be going to any more parties but please comment please like this video and just subscribe all right bye guys